Hi everybody, Thad Eldridge here with Signature Real Estate Utah and we are spotlighting our Small Business Entrepreneur of the Week and we are showcasing the owner of Brownies, 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 Molly, who has been uh, operating this store now for just over two years, uh -huh. right? Yep. She just had her two year anniversary and not only does she make amazing brownies, uh, but she is also a pillar in her community. She does a lot of things to uh, bring awareness to different uh, nonprofits. And I wanna touch base with her. And we're gonna talk about some of those things that she has done in her community. So I know Molly, over the, uh, over the summer, mm -hmm. you, you spearheaded you know, a lot of rallies and protests going on in June. And you actually spearheaded a food truck roundup for black owned businesses. Yeah. Maybe you could tell us a little bit more about that and uh, why you're so passionate about helping out your community. Um, well, community is really the reason I started my business in the first place. Um, before I ever opened my doors, I knew that I wanted my business to be giving back. And so when all of the protests and things were going on, I just thought there's got to be more that I can do as a business owner than just making a post on social media saying, this is something I care about and you should too. And just thought, well, what can I do now physically to help people around me? And this black owned food truck roundup was just the first idea I had. And I thought, I have a huge parking lot. I have all this space. It's easy for people to social distance in this parking lot. So why not use this? for other people. So I just invited food truck owners to come park here and sell their food. And the weather that weekend was terrible. Was it? <laughs> it was so bad. Friday, it was so swelteringly hot. And Saturday, it was pouring rain the entire day. But we had such a good turnout. Well, I remember reading about it and the turnout I hear was just amazing, yeah. which was fabulous. Well, and I think that goes to show you that the community really wants to support each other. Right. And they're, people are actively looking for ways to reach out and help one another. And the fact that my business can help give people those opportunities just makes me so happy. That's what I wanted it to do. That's wonderful, you guys. So Molly, she... Not only like that, she's running the restaurant. She does a lot of things for her community. She also, uh, what she spearheaded with the black owned businesses was amazing. But there's some other communities you also support. Um, she supports uh, Curly Me. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is a organization that uh, raises awareness for. They, they really help. Um children of color yes. to educate and empower them. And uh, I met the owner of that organization through the Women's Business Center and was just really impressed with her and the work she's doing in our community and just knew that that was someone I would want to partner with. Wonderful. So, yeah. That's great. And now also on your, um, the fundraiser you have going on right now is the uh, virtual <laughs> Pi K fundraiser yeah. for another organization, the Outdoor Afro, mm -hmm. that uh, Molly is raising money for. And this is a, you can register to donate off her, her website, right? Yeah, yeah, there are a couple ways you can participate. You can either register to run a 5K and it's called a Pi K because you get a brownie pie for finishing. Right. Um, or if exercise is not your thing, and let's be honest, COVID has made every all of our activity habits go away. Yes, yeah, so with a lot of the gyms being closed, you can't even go to that. You pretty yeah. much have to exercise outdoors on your own, figure uh -huh. out a way to do it. Right. So if you want just the pie, you can buy a pie and we'll still donate a portion of that sale to Outdoor Afro. Okay. All right. Okay, Molly. So uh, I know that you and I talked and you had done some pastry training back in Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. and then you moved to Utah, and you decided to go to the Park City uh, Culinary Institute yep. to also improve your baking skills and uh -huh. everything else that they teach you at that school. It, so, so tell us kind of how 
you decided to start Brownies Brownies. Take us back to where you were maybe first going to school and then what uh -huh. made you decide to, to start your, your store, your company? Yeah, so I started off my professional career in social services, so totally different from what I'm doing now. Huh. Um, and I just loved baking and making fancy treats and things for my friends and family, just yeah. kind of on the side. Sure. Um, and then while I was living in Washington, D.C., I decided to take um, a part-time pastry class while I was working full-time still, just because I loved doing it. Right. Um, and then when I moved out here several years ago, like you said, I went to the Park City Culinary Institute, and that's when I realized that this was not just a passing interest. <laughs> right. The the baking, pastry arts, all of that is just something I really loved and I wanted to do more with. And so um, a couple years ago, I was working on um, fine tuning my recipes and I took a few business courses here and there. Okay, wonderful. Um, yeah, and yeah. just quit my day job and jumped right in. And, and here, here you are. are. <laughs> yeah. and, she, and she's in business. <laughs> You guys, I, we've had her brownies, my family. They're wonderful. So not only does she make individual brownies, but then also she has brownies that you can just, uh, like these, that are take and break. So you can just take them home and mm -hmm. pop them in your oven and bake them, which is really nice yeah. as well. And, and that's she, a newer product. We came up with that during COVID because a lot of people are more comfortable making things in their own home. Okay. So we have the batter ready for you to just bake off in your own oven. Wonderful. Yeah. And as well, you do have ice cream mm -hmm. and yep. a bunch of flavors on those. We actually had some of our ice cream. Delicious. <laughs> I love ice cream. So <laughs> uh, about your brownie flavors, tell us a little bit about uh, some of the flavors that you have and mm -hmm. yeah, some of the different uh, yeah. flavors for the customers. Yeah. So we have about a dozen different flavors every day and we always have two or three different specials that we rotate through each month. So our specials this month are our pie flavors. If you've never had a pie brownie, you're going to need to try this. Okay. <laughs> All right. Because like, instead of your regular pie crust, um, just imagine a thick brownie covered with all the toppings so wonderful we have a pecan pie brownie um a pumpkin pie blondie brownie an apple crumb pie brownie and a peanut butter cream pie brownie so okay. we've got a lot of variety sounds wonderful you guys i want you to uh i'll come down i love supporting small businesses this is uh I just think the best thing is to always uh, support our local businesses. Molly here, Brownies, Brownies, Brownies. Look her up. You can follow her on Instagram. It's Brownies times three. Yep. On Instagram, Brownies times three. On her website, uh, also is Brownies times uh -huh. three. So <laughs> look her up. She also does a lot of catering. So if you need catering, you've got a wedding or a party that you're putting together. She does catering as well. So that's a great idea for you. Um, now I'm going to say too, in this, we also do at the end of this, if you watch the video, we always have a keyword. And if you watch the video and you enter the keyword into the bottom of the comments, we put you in the contest to win a $15 gift card to Brownies Brownies. Mm -hmm. And the keyword this time is outdoor Afro. So remember that. And in the comments do outdoor Afro and you'll have a chance to win a gift card. All right, guys, thanks again for watching uh, Molly with Brownies, Brownies, Brownies. Again, hopefully you can hear us okay through the masks. This is a health department mandate, so we are complying uh, so that we are in compliance with the mask mandate. So again, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, again, let's support Molly here with Brownies, Brownies, Brownies. And thanks again for watching our uh, Small Business Entrepreneur Spotlight for this week. Thanks again. Thank you.